Hello everyone. Welcome to my next session on LPP. Today we are going to see how to use the graphical method to find the feasible area and the optimum solution for a given LPP model. Now last time when we had solved a problem, we had got three variables there. Okay, It was x, y and z. If you remember, this was the problem and we had got the solution. Okay, To solve this problem further and find the values of x, y and z, we cannot make use of the graphical method because graphical method uh, is used only to solve problems having two variables. Whereas for three, uh, for more than two variables, we have to make use of the simplex method. Okay. In today's session, we are going to see the graphical method. For that, I have taken one LPP model, which has a maximization uh, objective function 3x plus 4y. And there are two constraints given to us. x plus y is less than or equal to 6. 2x plus y less than or equal to 8. And this is your non-negativity constraint x comma y greater than or equal to 0. To begin with, we are going to solve this problem by plotting a graph for which I have already drawn the x and the y axis. This is my x axis. Okay, this is your y axis. I have taken one unit as one centimeter here. Okay, on both the axes. Now, to plot a graph, I need to have some points which I have to find out for each of the equations which we have here. So, we are going to plot these two lines for x plus y less than or equal to 6 and 2x plus y less than or equal to 8. For the first equation, x plus y less than equal to 6 we are going to first of all remove this less than sign and put a equation sign equal to 6 to solve this problem okay we need two points to get the value of x and y which i have to plot on the graph initially i will assign x if x is equal to 0 y will be 6. So, I get the first point. Let us put first point as a capital A, 0 comma 6. This will be my first point for this equation x plus y equal to 6. Secondly, to get the value of y, I can assign y equal to 0 and I will get x equal to 6. Clear? So, this is my second point where x is 6 and y is 0. Similarly, for my second constraint, the equation which is 2x plus y, again I am going to remove this less than sign and put the equal to sign equal to 8. Okay. If x is equal to 0, y will be 8. Let us say this is my c, 0, 8 are my points for c, coordinates for c and when y is equal to 0, x will be 4. Okay, So, this will be 0, 2x equal to 8, so x is 4. So, for this I am going to write point d and the coordinates x coordinate 4 comma 0. Clear? Now, once we get these points, okay. Let us draw the lines A, B, and C, D on the graph. So, point A, we have x as 0. This is my x axis 0 and 6. So, I have to come here 0 and 6. So, my point is lying on the axis. This is my point A, okay. Point A. For 
the next point B, we have x is 6 and y is 0. So, this is my y-axis where it's 0. So, 6 again, I'll come here. This is my point B. So, y is 6 here. Sorry. This will be point A and this will be B. Because here x is 0 okay, and y is 6 which is A and x is 6 and y is 0 which is B. Next one is point C. We have x as 0 and y as 8. So, y 8. So, I will just extend this here somewhere or let us measure it and get point 8. So, point 1 point here. I will extend this line further. This is 8. Okay. So, my next point is coming here. C point C and point D is 4 comma 0. So, on the x axis I have 4 and y is 0. So, it is lying on my x axis. The point is here and it is a D. Let us join these two points. So, A and B is joined here. Okay, it should go exactly from the point. Okay, this represents my equation x plus y equal to 6. Okay, next one is C and D. So, I will join C and D points and draw a line to join them. This is my 2x plus y equal to 8. Clear? And we have one intersection. So, I will name this point as E as my intersection. Now, let us see which is my feasible area. Okay. Whenever you are drawing the line, the first thing you need to see for the first line the less than or the greater than operator, right? For the first equation, we had the less than sign. That means the feasible area is lying towards 0, okay, towards 0. So, this was my first line. So, I will just draw the arrow here, which is indicating that my feasible area or region is towards 0 here. Similarly, for the second equation 2x plus y, again we have the less than equal to sign. So, for this line as well, my feasible area is towards 0 inside. Okay. Had this sign be greater than, it would have been away from 0. So, the arrows would have been in the opposite direction. Now, if you look at the first equation, when we draw this line, even this is a part of the feasible area. Okay. But when we draw the second line, okay, there is an intersection. So, this area and this area is no more feasible now. Okay. So, which is my feasible area now? I can just see this area from here, which is inside with the two lines, which follows both the constraints. So, we will draw some lines like this to indicate my feasible area. Okay. So, you can see there is an intersection in this two line here E and starting from this point A, E and D. This whole area is my feasible area. That means, 
even if I draw a simple point in this area, it will give me the right answer for Z. Okay, but remember, it won't be the optimum solution. So if I take a point, let us say I take a point 1 and 2, somewhere here, 1 and 2, it is lying inside the feasible area, okay, represent x as 1, okay, and y as 2, what is the answer? 3 plus 8, so the answer will be 11, okay, that will be the maximum value for z, no, it is not the maximum value because I have taken a point which is inside the feasible area. If I have maximization problem, the value of x and y for your maximum uh, value of z or for your objective function should lie on the edge of this area. This is my edge. Okay. And as I have three points already here, so point A, E and D. I will consider these two points and check whether I have the maximum value. Now to find out the value of E, the coordinates of E, I can solve this problem for intersection x plus y equal to 6, 2x plus y equal to 8, subtract this 2. So this y gets cancelled, I get minus x equal to minus 2, therefore x is equal to 2. Okay, If x is equal to 2, you can uh, replace this value of x in one of the equations. Okay, So if x is 2, using the function x plus y equal to 6, 2 plus y equal to 6, I get therefore y equal to 4. Okay, so therefore your E is nothing but having the coordinates 2 comma 4. So I will just rewrite this here 2 comma 4. Clear? Now using these three points A, E and D, I have A as 0 comma 6. Okay, then E as 2 comma 4 and D as 4 comma 0. I will use these values of x and y coordinates in the objective function. I get Z as equal to 3 into bracket 0 plus 4 into bracket 6. What is the answer here? 6 4s are 20. Okay, so this 24. Next, for E, what is the value of Z? Let us write 3 into 2 plus 4 into 4. So 3 2s are 6, 4 4s four are 16, 6 plus 16 gives you 22. We will check for D. 3 into 4 plus 4 into 0. That gives you 12. Okay. One more point if you want you can check because your feasible area is this way. There is one more point here. That is O or origin. Okay. So, let us take O where we have 0 comma 0 of course this is not going to give me any value it will be 0 so this is 0 here fine now look at the answers which we have got for the different points which we considered on the borders we considered A E D and we also considered the origin O 0 comma 0 okay the maximum value is for point A. Okay. Now, because A is giving you the maximum profit, the maximum value for Z, 
my optimum solution is x will be 0 and y will be 6 which will give me z max or maximum z as 24 okay this is how we find the solution had we got a minimization problem and we are supposed to find the minimum value then we can use the same method the equations and everything is the same here the only thing that is going to change here we have to consider the minimum value and the minimum value is coming at the origin okay so the value of x and y will be 0 com and 0 and z min will be 0 clear i hope you have understood this was a very simple graphical method where we had only two lines going further we are going to see some more complicated problems and try to solve it using the graphical method thank you